Imagine having a broken leg set or a tumour removed without anaesthesia in a room not much cleaner than a butcher's shop. That, dear viewers, was surgery in the good old days. In the dawn of surgical practices, procedures were, to put it mildly, brutal. Among the earliest known surgeries is trepanning, a process where holes were drilled into the human skull. It's a spine-chilling thought, but this was done without any form of anesthesia. The patient was fully conscious, feeling every scrape and grind as the crude tool bored into their skull. The purpose to treat conditions like headaches, seizures, or mental disorders. The success rate, well, that's left to the annals of history. Then there were amputations. Imagine a world where the solution to a severe injury or infection was to simply chop off the affected part. Again, no anesthesia was used, just a swig of strong liquor, a piece of wood to bite on, and the swift, jarring cut of a bone saw. These bone saws were not the sterilized precision instruments we are familiar with today. No, these were tools borrowed from carpentry as sharp as they were unclean. The concept of sterilization of the invisible enemies we call germs was yet to be discovered. In fact, the understanding of infection was rudimentary at best. Operating rooms were not the sterile white environments we are accustomed to. They were often filled with dirt and germs, more akin to a butcher's shop than a place of healing. Surgeons, in their bloody aprons, moved from one patient to another, spreading infection with their unclean hands and instruments. The toll was heavy. Many patients who survived the ordeal of surgery succumbed to post-operative infections. It was a time when the cure could be as deadly as the disease. So, as you can see, surgery has come a long way from these rather grim beginnings. The 19th century can be considered the birth of modern surgery. This was a time when remarkable discoveries and advancements transformed surgery from a desperate gamble into a promising science. Let's travel back to this era of innovation where the first of these breakthroughs was the discovery of anesthesia. Imagine a time when patients were fully conscious during their procedures, the pain so intense that many didn't survive the ordeal. Then, in the mid 19th century, the introduction of ether and chloroform changed everything. These powerful substances numbed the senses, allowing surgeons to operate with precision and without the distressing screams of their patients filling the room. However, anesthesia was only half the battle. Post-operative infections claimed countless lives, turning successful surgeries into tragic failures. It was a Hungarian physician named Ignaz Semmelweis who first made the connection between cleanliness and infection rates. Semmelweis insisted on hand-washing, a practice that drastically reduced post-operative deaths in his clinic. Yet, his ideas were widely dismissed, and it would take another pioneer to cement the importance of antiseptic practices. Enter Joseph Lister, a British surgeon who was influenced by Louis Pasteur's germ theory. Lister introduced the use of carbolic acid, or phenol, as an antiseptic, reducing the incidence of gangrene and other infections. His methods, though initially met with resistance, eventually gained acceptance and became the standard in surgical procedures. So the birth of modern surgery was a tale of two halves. Anesthesia provided the means to perform more complex procedures without causing unbearable pain, while antiseptic practices paved the way for safer surgeries with reduced risk of infection. These twin pillars of modern surgery were the work of forward-thinking individuals who dared to challenge the status quo and revolutionize medical science. With these advances, surgery went from a last resort, often ending in death, to a viable medical option. The 19th century marked the dawn of a new era in surgery, setting the stage for the incredible advancements we'll explore in our next scene. The 20th century brought about an explosion of surgical innovation. As the calendar pages turned to the 20th century, the world of surgery was primed for a revolution. The discovery of antibiotics in the early 1900s was an undeniable game changer. It was the brilliant scientist Alexander Fleming who first introduced us to penicillin in 1928. This miracle drug transformed surgery from a risky gamble to a safer, more predictable procedure. It was now possible to control post-operative infections, dramatically reducing the mortality rate and opening the door to more complex surgical procedures. The mid-20th century was marked by another groundbreaking development, the first successful organ transplant. In 1954, Dr. Joseph Murray and his team made medical history by performing the first successful kidney transplant. 
This monumental feat was a testament to the human spirit of innovation and resilience, and it set the stage for future transplants of the heart, liver, and lungs. As we moved into the latter part of the century, a new era of surgical procedures was ushered in with the advent of keyhole or laparoscopic surgery. This minimally invasive approach was pioneered by Dr. Kurt Sem in the late 70s. Instead of making large incisions, surgeons now used small cuts and specialized instruments to perform surgeries. This reduced patient discomfort, shortened recovery times and minimized scarring. From the introduction of antibiotics to the first organ transplants and the evolution of minimally invasive surgeries, the 20th century was a time of unprecedented advancements in the field of surgery. Each breakthrough built upon the last, propelling us forward into a future where the impossible became possible. These key figures, Fleming, Murray, Semi, they were the visionaries of their time. Their contributions have forever shaped the landscape of surgery, allowing us to push the boundaries of what we can achieve in the operating room. From organ transplants to minimally invasive surgeries, the 20th century changed what was possible in the operating room. But what does the future hold for surgery? As we journey forward on the timeline of progress, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of a new era, one where the boundaries of what's possible in the surgical theatre are continually being pushed and redefined. Consider robotic surgery, for instance. It's not science fiction anymore, it's happening right now. With the surgeon controlling the robot's every move, these highly advanced machines can perform intricate procedures with a precision that surpasses human capabilities. They can delve into parts of the body previously inaccessible, reducing invasiveness and recovery times. Then there's the fascinating world of three-dimensional organ printing. Imagine a future where waiting lists for organ transplants become a thing of the past. Instead, we have bioprinters crafting perfectly matched organs from a patient's own cells, eliminating the risk of rejection. It sounds like a dream, but it's a reality we're inching towards every day. And let's not forget artificial intelligence. AI is revolutionizing the way we diagnose and treat diseases. Machine learning algorithms can sift through vast amounts of data, spotting patterns and anomalies that might elude the human eye. They can assist doctors in making more accurate diagnoses and planning more effective treatments. Moreover, AI's predictive capabilities can help anticipate complications, making surgeries safer and more efficient. These advancements are not just transforming surgical practices, but also the very outcomes of health. They promise fewer complications, less pain, quicker recoveries, and most importantly, extended and improved lives. However, with these advancements come challenges. Ethical questions about the role of AI in decision-making, the affordability of these cutting-edge technologies and the need for extensive training to wield these new tools effectively are all hurdles that need to be addressed, yet the potential benefits far outweigh these challenges. As we stand on the brink of this exciting new frontier, we can't help but marvel at the possibilities. As we look to the future, it's clear that the evolution of surgery is far from over. From the crude and often deadly practices of the past, surgery has become a sophisticated and life-saving discipline. We've journeyed together from the shocking origins of surgery, where the patient's survival was often a matter of sheer luck, to the birth of modern surgery, where sterilization and anesthesia revolutionized the field. We've explored a century of breakthroughs, each one more awe-inspiring than the last, each one pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible. From the advent of keyhole surgery, reducing invasiveness and recovery time, to the pioneering use of robotics, we've seen the relentless march of progress. In the future of surgery, we've glimpsed a world where precision, personalization, and minimally invasive procedures are the norms, not the exceptions where technology and human skill combine to create outcomes that would have been unthinkable even a generation ago. We've looked at the potential of virtual reality for training the surgeons of tomorrow and the promise of AI in diagnosis and treatment planning. We've seen how nanotechnology could one day deliver drugs directly to diseased cells and how gene editing could revolutionize our approach to genetic disorders. In every step of this journey, the goal has remained the same, to heal, to cure, to improve quality of life, to push back the boundaries of the possible in the service of humanity. The evolution of surgery is a testament to our capacity for innovation, our determination to overcome obstacles, and our unwavering commitment to the sanctity of human life. It's a story of progress, of hope, 
of the triumph of the human spirit over adversity. And the most exciting part, we're just getting started. The future holds untold possibilities, and we can't wait to see where this journey takes us next. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of surgery. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the world of medicine.